Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. Has this ever happened to you? Well, <laughs> warnings about nearby power lines is just one of the new features in the next free update to Drone Pilot Canada. Let's check them out. Yes, Drone Pilot Canada version 2.5 includes map data for major power transmission lines in every province and territory in Canada. For the most part, these are the big tower sorts of transmission lines, not your neighborhood telephone pole stuff. The power lines will show up as dashed red lines on your map, like this. And yes, Gary, that is near Brantford. Gary Foster of Brant Aerials has a, well, shall we say, an unnatural attraction to power lines. <laughs> Anyways, if you initiate a flight and one of these power lines is within your guidance circles, we'll give you a gentle warning. I hope this will avoid unnecessary grief. And well, we've done our best to get all of them. There could easily be major power lines that aren't recorded in public databases. So please keep your eyes peeled. The second area of improvement in this release of Drone Pilot Canada is for flyaway emergency procedures. Firstly, we have fine tuned the emergency button procedures to help guide you to the right aerodromes to call and the correct area control center to call in the event of either horizontal or vertical flyaways. So if you experience a flyaway during your flight, and are not able to regain control of your aircraft, here's how the emergency button will help you out. Pick either horizontal or vertical flyaway, let's say horizontal. Make your best estimate of the direction and speed your drone is traveling. And if you think it's heading towards a nearby aerodrome, tap the nearby aerodromes button. This will immediately show you a list of all aerodromes within 10 nautical miles in order of proximity, with directions and distances showing. Select the nearest one in the direction your, your drone is escaping and tap it. This will offer you active phone buttons based on the aerodrome contact information and a script to help walk you through a clear, concise outline of the problem you're having when you do get hold of someone. And if you're uncertain of the path or there are multiple airports nearby, we also offer the emergency numbers of the area control center for the flight information region or FER you are located in. Again, the script is displayed to help you crisply convey all the right information to the ACC shift manager. The other thing we've done in this release is to allow you to tailor those emergency scripts so you can say it in a way that works best for you. The scripts are built into the script section of the horizontal and vertical flyaway procedures and can be edited just like any other Drone Pilot Canada procedure or checklist. Just make sure the word script is at the beginning of the heading for your script. The app will automatically fill in some key information for you, such as the distance and heading from the nearest or selected aerodrome, as well as the name of that aerodrome. It will also fill in whatever you've entered in the cat slash markings field for your current drone. These parameters can be inserted in your, in your script, but must be named exactly like this and must be enclosed in square brackets to be recognized by the app. But other than that, you can insert those variables into your script wherever you wish. Full details of how to tailor your flyaway scripts can be found in the free downloadable user guide available on www.dronepilotcanada.com. Now, even if you don't tailor your flyaway script, I strongly encourage you to try out the emergency button before you actually need it, so you're familiar with the process and how it works. And don't worry, the phone numbers will never be called without you explicitly hitting a call button, so it's totally safe to do a dry run. Drone Pilot Canada, designed to help you fly safely, legally, and with confidence. I'm sure you'll love these new features in version 2.5. Thanks for watching.